Oi, oi, oi! Ei, I'm back, I'm back with another video. Hey, I know these days I haven't been doing a lot of videos, uh, but at least I make sure that I, I do at least one video per week on the podcast. Uh, uh, yes, at the beginning I wanted to do two or three because I wanted to have some production going, have a lot, like some videos on the channel about this. And now I'll be doing one or two per week because there's no longer the same pressure. And also, if we are not in a hurry by working like this, it's easier to take one subject and, and go through it every step of the way. And yes, we still on Kanye Box, guys. Uh, this is episode 12. And today, instead of teaching something, I feel that we are in the middle of, of, of something else, right in the middle of something else, where if we don't solve it, the problems that we are having are going to continue. Uh, unfortunately, I can only do so much from my side. Other people will also do their bit. Maybe others won't do anything at all because maybe they are benefiting from the chaos that is happening. I don't know. Um, I don't care much. All I care about is the people and also all I care about is where can where do we find ourselves in the future? Right. Yeah. I'm speaking in tongues. I also did a bit of a prep today. I was like Anfuni because this is a very sensitive subject which is the subject of, of cardio box uh, two weeks back i made a video i made a video and i uploaded it on facebook and on the video i was talking about marathons uh, i said on that video how many people were doing marathons in marathons i'm talking about aerobics marathons aerobics. it's a very nice subject and and it's got very passionate people and it's always nice to talk about things that have got passionate people you understand because we share the same passion anyway so uh, i asked how many people have been in aerobics marathons in 2015 that are still there and I said those who left why did they leave right uh, I received a lot of responses uh, some people were uh, 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 I remember South African aerobics uh, to Melo, which I tagged on the video also also responded and and said why don't we go live and, and, and have this conversation uh, live and and which was a good idea but it's twofold it's good because we get an opportunity to talk about it and because he has a following uh, in terms of the people in that space a lot it uh, it becomes a, a, a good space on which to, to talk about such subject but on the same some the same thing on the same side i feel that if we're going to have a conversation like that we need to lay down some ground rules how are we going to play into the space because what we don't want to find ourselves is to find ourselves answering things that will steer the conversation towards a direction that is not going to be constructive because it's easy to get there especially if you are live on facebook people can ask any question they can say whatever they are saying and and that could could derail us from from what we want to talk about so we will definitely come with very strict rules if we do that live in order to stay on the same subject right yes i think that's the background uh, another reason why I made that video, or the reason why I made that video, is because of the concern I have. A lot of us, uh, specifically black instructors, 
we we have different views about a sub a, a sub a particular subject which is in this case is scatterbox uh, we teach it differently it's, it's like it's a it's a it's a it's it's it's, it's so different uh, uh, i swear if you find me from from the content itself to the structure of of, of the classes that which you teach it's totally different totally different uh, i believe that i believe that i'll be getting to that point where i'm going to break it down both of them uh, both of, of, of these boxes that you find type of cardio boxes that you find break them down in such a manner that uh, 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 we go step by step on each and every one of them and why do i say these are two totally different programs because that's very important uh, <clears throat> I'll also touch a little bit on my personal experience with, with marathons, uh, both as an instructor and as a member I've, I've attended. I can count places I've been to on marathons and, and for someone who is not a marathon person, I can count so many places that I've been to. I've been to Mandeni in KZM. It was Vegas Marathon. I've been to Smooth event in Deben, which was a DUT. And I've been to Port Shepstein in a Brilliance event. I've been to Nelspreet in Hawker's event. I've been to Bloemfontein attending a Tebe's event. Also Smooth event I was attending. Mandini was teaching and in Port Shepstein. I've been to uh, uh, the, the place where Trangen Master used to do his events. And I've been there a number of times, I think even four times. Uh, both as an instructor, I think once as an instructor, and a couple of times attending the marathon. I've been to James Dean, uh, both attending, I believe. Could I, I remember when I was teaching as well. I've been to Rustenburg. Uh, I've been to Bretts. I've been to a lot of events in Soweto. I've been to Sal, a lot of their events, Ushimi and Blessing. I, I was part of the planning, the first uh, Kings and Queens, which is Blessing, Blessing's event. I was part of the, of the planning. I remember when he dropped the vision. I was, during the event, I was an MC. I remember for the first time we finished everything at quarter to five and people were free to start partying and going home and everything. I've been to where else have I been to? I've been to uh, a lot of events in Pretoria, I've been to a lot of Steve's event, events, uh, marathons as well. Uh, not teaching, <laughs> attending, I've been to Sylvester's event, attending. Uh, yeah, I've been to a lot. I've been to Pulukwane, Abu Prapita, attending his event there. Uh, I'm not sure how many events I've been to in Pulukwane. Yeah, so, so I've been to a number of events. Uh, and, 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 and both as an instructor and, and also as a member. So uh, I've got personal experience. For me, box changed in front of my eyes. I saw it change and, and people starting to teach it differently uh, in such a way that I could not recognize the program anymore. But maybe at first when this happened, uh, we became hostile towards it instead of understanding or instead of being able to see that look, this is not the same program, this is something different. Um, or maybe because we it's because we didn't have a, a reference which I'm about to make now. Yes. So that's why I stopped attending events because I felt that I get on the floor, I'm going, uh, I'm going to attend high low, which I don't enjoy that much. Uh, I love high low, but when it comes to, let me just pass this one through. When it comes to I'm attending a high low, and then I feel as if I'm doing step. Uh, and then I 
it kind of throws me off. I enjoy step as well. That's just, just my personal account. Uh, and it shouldn't be, I'm not saying everyone should feel or say, see things the way I do. And with step, uh, the flop was that I, I, my body cannot accept jumping off the step and climbing the step in reverse. My body just doesn't accept it. Uh, and, and once it starts happening, I, I get thrown off. And well, sometimes I'm not very good in dancing, so sometimes it's just pure ugutu in and and that I also accept sometimes when, when it's happening. Uh, now the problem is that we get to box, which is a program I love so much, which I love, I love, I love box so much, and then we take the same dance and we we add on to box. Now you find that that's all the box that you're going to get. There is no alternative. I'm sure you guys like, can see where I'm going. There is no alternative. That's all you're going to get. So you're going to dance high low. You're going to dance step. You're going to dance box. The only thing that does not have dance that you're going to get is going to be functional. And trust me, very soon it's going to start having dance. Watch the space. It's going to start having a dance. If I'm not late, I think I've seen already something. Anyway, let me move on. So, I'm going to use the story of, of indoor cycling and explain what happened there and how they dealt with it. And then, I want us to copy from that example. I would love if we were to copy from this example and apply it in our own program. So, when you're listening to this story of cycling, Please don't listen to it with the mind you're good in. He's talking about cycling, into cycling. Uh, listen with Uzamu Tibanisa. Link what I'm saying with the whole cardio box thing. So in cycling, into cycling, when it came, it came in as a right program. Get on the bike, uh, do the things that will train you off the bike uh, off the road sorry on the bike on a stationary bike do the same things that someone that is on the road on a bicycle would be doing and that's how it should be planning plan your intervals plan your heels you've got your downhills you've got your sprints you've got your speed intervals you've got all of these things uh, it's a cycling program Right. They had pelotons, they had all different types of, 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 um, of scenarios that resembles real cycling. Then what happened is that uh, 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 people got bored or people chose to create more stuff out of the same bike. Like, no, man. I can do choreography on this bike. Hmm? I can freeze. I can add weeds. I can do. I can do hands. Quite a number of things. People started doing those things. Remember what happens is that people start doing these things, and whilst they are not approved by any party, because that's how people are. You know, we are the mavericks. We, we like making decisions and changes things, changing things with or without permission to do them like why must we hear anybody we are independent or whatever the reasons they are going to give it doesn't matter i guess i believe that's why we're different a lot of us we're different i'm different to some people or maybe in some other instances i also have my own situations where i just rebel right so they rebelled and started adding stuff to cycling into cycling and when this happened obviously they were met with a backlash and this went on for many years where now you find that uh, the field is divided uh, uh, participants are starting to talk about instructors based on their preferences as, as participants that uh, that person that's not uh, writing 
those who are who believe in the in the stately riding type of spinning and those who believe in moving changing things you know is in this change are you bringing in more stuff to what is already there being flexible you know they use all these terms to to decorate what what they are saying that, that's how people are and and would say ah no that one is outdated old school what 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 but the truth is it's not the case now what what happens the same people who designed cycle or who brought cycle to their gyms uh, they brought two types of they created two types of cycling into cycling they created what they call cycle pen that's virgin active specifically and cycle spirit now cycle pen was designed so that you can work based on how you would work on the road uh, checking your your fitness level using the stats that you get on the console of the bike and and and, and cycling uh, a straight straight cycling then they also created cycle spirit which now they added choreography in it and they still maintain some serious safety precautions like when you're cycling your basic stuff that you always keep those uh, knees and toes in the same lane line you, you make sure your bike setup is like this you still relax your shoulders you still do everything else but there's just added choreography which creates now cycle spirit so uh, now i'm sure you can see where i'm going it's the same thing with our beloved cardio box program i believe that this program that's the kind of intervention that is needed i said earlier these are two programs you've got a box that is I'll go with the one I'm teaching. Straightforward box. Uh, I've added some things also, but all the things that I've added, I took them from box. And 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 you've got box where you've got an opening in front of you, and you are doing those things. And and you've got box that is mixed with dance moves, right? That is mixed with dance moves. Now, let's start with the box that I am doing. I copy my moves from fights and I go there, I, I punch, I make sure we visualize a fight in such a manner that even if you can bring a bag, you can still take this move and translate it onto a bag. You can still take this move and translate it onto meats that's the type of box that I'm doing and I take mainly from MMA I take mainly from Muay Thai which is what I take a lot from I watch a lot of Muay Thai matches I study how they play their combinations and I do the same thing in my classes maybe the timing will be a little bit different because now I'm controlled by the music but mainly how I do everything is going to be based on how they are doing it and then when I'm teaching my movements, I mainly keep them under 16 counts because most combinations are short. You hardly find a long combination. Not saying it's not there, they are the long combinations, but most combinations are short because you have to go in and get out. And, and most of the time when people are practicing combinations, they cut them up so that they are able to practice over and over again and get used to them. Then the other thing that if you go to a a, a, a boxing or a Muay Thai gym, they will make you do something for a number of times. So that's what I do. If it's a movement, we do it for a particular number of times, we move on to the next movement, do we combine it, we still count how many times we do it. Whereas on the other side, it's not about that. Uh, you'll find that uh, the guys uh, will start a movement with punches and, and knees and, and everything, whatever choreography, that would be 32 counts most of the time. And then 
they now start adding layering that is aerobic based mainly the one that you will find in aerobics manuals your direction changes your style changes your liver changes your level changes uh, they start adding that kind of choreography which now most of the time it will also include dance moves and it will include a lot also of kicks and punches and 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 the direction can it's a 360 direction and and people follow people train some love it some get thrown off by it same as the one that I'm teaching, the type of box that I'm teaching, some love it, some get thrown off by it. Which is the same thing with e-cycling, indoor cycling. Some love the straight cycling, some love the choreography one, which is always going to be the case. For this to work, guys, I believe that we need to have two types of box. I believe that we need to have to, to separate this box because there is this box that is straightforward and there is this other box that is not straightforward. You go to gyms on the timetable, they just write box. People don't know what kind of box they are attending. But if in, in cycling now, they, if they say cycle spirit, people already know what kind of cycling are they doing. This is something. I believe gyms and people who do events can do. Uh, if they are going to have this, uh, if they are going to have box, they mention what kind of box they are doing, you know, and 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 so that even the people, their patrons, are able to know exactly what type of box they are getting especially the old school ones because the new ones they have no idea of the other books because they they haven't done it and i always understand when they talk because they have no idea what we're talking about to them we just old people who just like talking but wait until there are new ones that are starting something new in front of them now they will start saying yeah but we didn't do it like this I've had some talking in another event and I laughed yeah, because I I felt that this what they are saying is the same thing they didn't understand when it was happening and it's going to run over and over. So this is my suggestion. I think that we need to separate types of box. We need to have a, a box, a, a box choreography, a dance mix whatever it can be called box mix and then we need to have a box strictly combat where everything will just be about fighting now this is just an advice to everyone else what am i going to do on my side i think that i'm going to start planning some uh, dance box choreography type of videos on my channel and also on some of my socials and start sharing you know start sharing what I'm talking about and, and, and this means now I need to just work on some dance box moves even if it's just 10 to 15 minutes and, and, and so that at least we can have something that, that I can also talk about and then because I don't want to use other people's videos as examples I, I feel it's a little bit rude and also i have enough of of this uh, uh, the other one and i feel if, if if ever it can happen like that i think that we would get along even better because now uh, you know because we are talking about two separate programs so we are bound to see things differently why because i say it's only one you know so yeah that's 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 what i wanted to talk about on this video today and yes i think this this is only going to be the only video that i'm doing this week and regarding sa aerobics i don't know he said he was in Botswana, in Botswana, so we'll talk when he comes back so yeah when he does come back and we get on to the conversation we'll have a, a little bit of of that yeah we'll have a little bit of that 
and by the way these conversations are, 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 are slightly at an advanced stage in terms of, of i've spoken to quite a number of people uh, i also spoke to someone who is high profile in another gym and we had this conversation and she said to me look um, Z, i'm happy that you can see that there is intervention that's needed in this program as our company we are already working on something so hopefully very soon out there something is going to come out uh, something that is going to help in solving the small problems that we have as the as the fitness community and and one of them being us finding it difficult to move forward because of this uh, there is this new program that hasn't been allocated and unfortunately it it went into a space that is already filled with with people and and some already believe in the program that is there and they brought something different and now we need to create a space where this new program can fit in and 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 it would make it make things even nicer because it's easy now if someone one is new in the gym and like ah no i i am looking for a box class or a kick class as other gyms call it it's like oh which one do you want ah no i want a um, choreography or what other term yeah choreograph oh choreography no come at such and such a time uh, there's an instructor that's doing it you know and that way even when people are doing it in front of you yeah why because it's there and 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 and, and it's 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 got it's got a place yeah you, you understand which i must say props to the guys who believe in that type of teaching uh you guys have done a great job. You've created a program, and, and I think it would be nice if you were to also use this opportunity and write your own manuals in the program, and 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 hopefully pocket from it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I believe that there won't be enough training for the program, which gives you an opportunity as people who are experienced in it to start providing training to instructors uh, on this program. Obviously, it does not have a manual, so uh, I think that this is a this is a great opportunity for for a lot of amachita. Uh, I know that most probably some people will not take it or they don't see it. Maybe some will even disagree with what I'm saying. I also understand because I mean sikugil, but I just want to say I love you all, guys. And yes, that's my two cents opinion about marathons. I'm sorry if I did not say it the way maybe you might have thought, but that's all I wanted to share and it's all about the two programs. And I feel that it's one of the reasons why, this was not debated by the way, I feel that it's one of the reasons why there are people who have left marathons and they've gone to other programs like running and everything which are more they are based on i don't want to say science because everything is going to be about science here even the dance is science uh that's why because they could not recognize what they knew you know uh, there's a lot of them but means guys and and i believe that i'm one of them also and and if you were to have these programs zombie me Ulula now, Ubana, Bobong, Alban, because Untuza Quenza and I turned. Lean I turned young, I as you, Agazuyens, Okanya clients, because I try and knowing exactly what they are trying. See, that was not a clickbait. So please let me know what else do you think that we can talk about. Uh, this subject, I'm going to end it here, and hopefully, I'm going to get some responses. Uh, even if I get them next year, it's still fine as long as we get that response on that note guys thank you very much i love you i'm out of here please subscribe like the channel share the videos and let's keep the conversation going peace